Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to give you an update on the construction going on at the Spanish Town Hospital. Now the government is spending 5.5 billion to upgrade the Spanish Town Hospital. They're actually going to build a, literally a whole new hospital. So we are going to go through an article that gives more information on this project but the Spanish Town Hospital is very important because it serves St. Catherine which includes Spanish Town, Portmore, Linstead I mean it's the major hospital for all these areas Old Harbour so it, it serves a lot of people and the hospital has been around for a very long time so it's due to get upgraded so it is good that the government is building a first world hospital or upgrading that hospital to a first world status. So we are going to give you an update. The multi-billion dollar investment in the redevelopment of the Spanish Town Hospital is an example of government using the benefits of a good economy to, to deliver for citizens, says Prime Minister Andrew Holness. He was speaking at a groundbreaking ceremony for the 5.5 billion project in St. Catherine. Prime Minister Hone said that while the works are being undertaken through loan support and grant funds, the greater part of the investment is from the productivity of Jamaicans. The government has managed your fiscal affairs, your revenue, the taxes that you pay in such a way that we can say that we will allocate US 87 million from our budget towards the project, he noted. Redevelopment of the Spanish Town Hospital falls under the Health System Strengthening Program, which is being funded through US 50 million loan from the Inter-American Inter Development Bank and a grant of Euro 10.2 million from the European Union. The government of Jamaica has committed US 87 million. The project which will see the transformation of the 430 bed hospital into a state of the art six story facility spanning more than 17,000 square meters. Patient care delivery at the facility will expand to new services including urology, oncology, cardiology, gastroenterology, ophthalmology and psychiatry. It will be equipped with cutting-edge technology, including electronic access to patient medical records. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister warned criminals looking to use the project as an opportunity for extortion that this will not happen. The Spanish Town Hospital Redevelopment Project is in keeping with the Ministry of Health and Wellness Vision for Health 2030 10-year strategic plan which aims to provide a reliable and modern infrastructure for health service delivery. So that's the end of the update article. So this is very good because a lot of times when we speak about the roads and the highways, a lot of subscribers always ask, well, what about the hospitals? Well, here you can see the government is going to upgrade the hospital. They didn't say who the contractor was going to be, so if anybody knows who the contractor for this Spanish Town Hospital redevelopment uh, project is, you can let us know. You can leave a comment in the section below. And the government also announced that they're going to be building a Type 5 medical facility in Portmore that will eventually become a hospital. And they're, re they're practically building over the Connell Regional Hospital in Montego Bay. And they're building a new children's hospital in Montego Bay. So a lot is being done, yes, a lot more, there's still a lot more work to be done, but at least it's a start. So the ball is rolling and in time, I'm sure everything will get done. All right guys, so this is good news. Let us know what you think. Leave your comments in the section below. And also, if anybody knows who the contractor is for this project, let us know. Alright guys, thanks for taking a tour with us today. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.